the emails went wild, and Dale Earnhardt Jr., who I think we have to respect here, <laughs> definitely oh, says. Well, that's why that's why I brought it up because they had I got tagged in Dale Jr.'s podcast like oh we got lots of emails a thousand times. So well, I hey. said, "Sai, look, you you agree?" Oh, like, you showed that to everybody. I tried to, yeah. Oh, but it didn't get there. That, no, well, we couldn't because he just got to yelling. He was oh, getting hey, ready I got, to. Yeah, I got fired up. He was getting ready to go out of I town. He done this. got mad. Oh, and yeah. He just got yeah, to I yelling. I got fired up about it. Boy. And then, of course, Willie made everything better. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He does. Yeah, then the does. boss got on to me and talking about, well, you just don't understand the English language. <laughs> you don't. Then, you know, then, hey, then he started to get, it was started getting personal then. Uh, hey, I know we've been all got up Put that W sauce back up there behind you. Put that bed off for a minute. we took a week off. We're I know. Back. Are thing, we back? I don't know what we're doing. I guess we're we back. We are back. We look like we're back. Cy si looks like he's that island life treated him well. He's hey, tan. He is me? tan. Hey, and my wife actually got sunburn. What? And this time, I actually did not get sunburn. Did you go outside? <laughs> yeah, I was outside. Uh-huh. A lot. <laughs> did you lot. parasail? Uh, no. No. Liar. Did no, you swim hey. with dolphins? No. Liar. But we did. did you, the rest but of us did. All the rest of them that did. Okay. Did but you sleep? Did I? Hey, no. This was a. <laughs> let me define what we was. This was supposed to be. This is supposed to be a vacation mm-hmm. where you rest and enjoy yourself. You That's taught right. them how to do that, didn't you? Hey, I taught them how to do that. <laughs> yeah. Because look, every time I started say, "Okay, let's zip line," I looked. I said. <laughs> a little bell started ding, 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 oh, man. Ding, in my mind, and I said, you're right. Act your age, you old idiot. Yeah. Okay, I mean, the, ma- the man are- walks around with a backpack of oxygen. Did you really yeah. think he was going to do said everything he, was. he does? <laughs> well, I, he also... Well, I, I, I turned chicken is what happened. <laughs> okay, as long as you're willing to no, make no, it chicken. Hey, here's the deal. When it come right down to it to do it, I chickened out. So what uh-huh. did you do? Of all uh, the great- I rested... Okay, and enjoyed myself. And fished. And, and fished. But here's the thing. You could have done, you do hey, that here. You know, I've heard of people all my life talking about, oh, uh, they call them beach bumps. Uh-huh. I'm going to island hop. Uh-huh. You don't want to island hop. No. It <laughs> will make, just run you down to nothing. Where you just, I hated to get out of bed this morning. <laughs> you know what time I got out? What time? Like. 2.45. In the morning? And No, that's <laughs> afternoon. And the only reason I got out, go. and guess what? I had to be up here. Otherwise, I'd have said, I ain't going. In fairness, though, it would have been like 10.45 island time. So, yeah. You know, island it, it, time. He didn't even quite make it to lunch. Did so, you eat good? Oh, yeah. Any medium plus steak? Well, just curious. No. So many emails. No. We took a week off. Yeah. And I got I ate so island many. food, which is uh, just say. From my viewpoint, oh, it, it lacks a lot. <laughs> there was a like bunch salt, of pepper. pineapple yeah. and coconut. Yeah. The only good one now, the fruit. No, you can't go wrong with the fruit. The yeah. fruit was wild. Yeah, but the rest of it, eh, you know. Yeah, it's just I'm not a I'm not a uh, yeah tropic yeah. food tropical food. Did you eat fish? No, Any good. No, no. Good they fish? they the, the fish that we caught was a rare breed of. Uh, he like he's like a baby mar, uh, marlin, a bill okay. billfish. Yeah, he was a billfish, but he so was you like a baby one. So you went all the way there and sat in a hammock and well, I just then re- went fishing. And I like, just relaxed. Jay. Sat in a hammock. Oh. That means outside. I don't no. know that he walked outside. Nothing. The boat had air conditioning and a couch and a bed. You yeah. and just, I spent most of it on the couch, yeah. looking at the ocean yeah. behind me. You Praise went, be. You went a long way to do exactly what you do at home. Well, hey, man, my head just got to rest. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you end up wore out. That's right. Definitely. Yeah, okay. Sleep until 2.45. That's right. That's right. So I, I discovered something. Cy wears these shirts. That's a fact, Jack. You know, Uncle Cy, whatever, whatever. And we had so many people walk up to him and say, you look like Uncle Cy. I appreciate you wearing his stuff. He's one of my favorites, you know, off the show. Yeah, and I always tell them when they say, you look your eyes, and I'll get that all the time. <laughs> Well, then they just get ready to walk away. Yeah, they're walking off. Yeah. And That's Christine my said, yeah. that is him. Oh, she had to go and spoil yeah. it. No, no. Oh, then yeah. I looked and I said, no, I'm not. I said, I just look like him. You know? It I was said, too really obvious. Not. They didn't believe it. They're like, he's wearing an Uncle Si shirt. <laughs> well, that can't be Uncle Si. Yeah, but to be fair, if I have, I have, I've noticed something while y'all were talking. 
Is your autograph on your own shirt? It probably is. <laughs> we probably meant it, to send it, it to somebody be. and didn't. <laughs> Wait, you signed your own shirt? That's what I said. Well, hey, look, that's like I've <laughs> right got a, there. Hey, hey, my ID card is a picture of me. That just reminds me who I am. That's why they well, thought. Well, don't you, forget. You were just a fan. You were just walking that's around right. with your signature on that's your right. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I, I really do want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> I was sitting there. Was I told you, it's been a, it's been a hoot. That keeps uh, people away. Uh, man. He signed his own shirt, 100%. No, the best one that ever happened was we was I went to visit Scott and Marsh and his grandkid up in Virginia when he was stationed there. Mm-hmm. And we went to the, the underground. Uh, Railroad? No, the fish. Oh. Aquarium. Oh, mm. yeah. Mm. You know, so we're walking around. And, and the water zoo. The no, water no, zoo. what got me was these kids were about, oh, from 10 to 13, teenagers. Okay, like I, I'm talking about from from Mexico, from everywhere. I guess it was having a, you know. But anyway, they kept they kept looking at me. You know, and I always get tickled when they do. And they kept walking by. So we're we're, we're sitting at a table fixing to eat. And one of them finally gets the nerve, and he comes up here and he said, he said, uh, he said, I can't think of a name of it, but it's it's got something to do with the with the with the. Something that flies. You know, and I said, what are you talking about? And he said, you're on TV. I, I said, I know. I said, I, I, I'm on a show called Let's Catch a Cow. <laughs> I said, I'm from Texas. You know, and I had my cowboy hat on and boots and everything. I said, I'm from Texas, and I'm always trying to catch this big longhorn steer. You know, and he, the guy kept saying, no, it was a little black guy. You know, he said, hey. No, it ain't nothing to do with cows. I said, yes, it is. I said, hey, whose show is this? <laughs> I said, it's my show, son. I, I said, no. Said, yeah, I said, that's my show. They all, and they all started walking away. We, this goes on for about 10 minutes. They started walking away. And then Christine said, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You know, and they're walking away. She said, yeah, kids, come back. So that's who you think he is. <laughs> you know? And I said, wait a minute. What do you mean if I'm who they think I am? I said, they got me with something that flies. I said, I don't fool, ever fool with nothing that flies. I said, I'm always chasing a cow. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> so it goes on for another 20 minutes, and then they all started walking away again. And then when Christine said, hey, that's him. It's called Duck Dynasty. You know, and that guy said, that's right. He's a duck. That's what y'all were chasing. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but <laughs> something that flies. I love doing it because it just it throws them off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I say the same thing. Yeah. They're like, hey, you one of them guys? I'm like, man, I get that all the time. <laughs> the worst is, though, like when they're like, Godwin. I'm like, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Godwin. How in the world do you get me and John Godwin confused? <laughs> Wait, I, I get it. I've We're the only Godwin. two. No, no. I get yeah, it. Really. We're the only two non family members. I get it. So you got a 50 50 <laughs> chance on Godwin or Martin. It's a 50 50 shot. However, he's 5'6, six, I'm 6'5, six, and we weigh the same. <laughs> there is a noticeable body type difference. It's a different. It's You're noticeable. A different cat. Yeah. And <laughs> like I love Goblin. He's one of my best friends, but every time it happens, I'm just like I get called Jordan a- Summon a lot. You get Absolutely. Called- what? Huh? Where? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had different Jay's events. He's loving it. My, I get, yeah. my I get- favorite part is when they see us with Philip and they're like, wait, y'all are friends? <laughs> I, like, I get tickled when yeah. they get to Phil and call him me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, I've seen it three or four times. They're, they're talking to Phil and say, Uncle Ty, what's the funniest? You know, Phil's going. I just love it that they think that <laughs> Phil and Cy is everybody's uncle and granddad. They're like, you're granddad. And <laughs> you're I'm like, just and like I just, my uncle. rather than try to explain it away, I'm just like, yeah, man, he's great. Your uh, uncle's great, man. We all got that crazy uncle. Crazy you uncle. Know, golly, unbelievable. Uh, mm. I get Jep a lot. Yeah. Everybody I, I thinks I'm Jep. One time, me and Godwin were at Daytona walking around, and somebody said, "Hey, can I get a picture with you?" And I was about to, like, "This is like I was I hadn't been on e- even in the background of Duck Dynasty." Yet. That's like 2013. Yeah, yeah. And Godwin goes, "Sure, you can." Godwin takes a picture of me and this dude. <laughs> Godwin's actually like at this point, it's ham sandwich. Godwin's everybody's favorite. Godwin's giggling behind this camera, takes the picture. I'm like, Godwin, that dude posted that, and everybody's like, "Who's that guy?" <laughs> 
yeah. that night when he posted it on Facebook, everybody was like, I don't, we don't know who you that is. You got got, son. There's just yeah. a guy with a beard walking around Daytona. Did you take a picture with every one of them? Yeah. So My favorite was always somebody asked me. I just take about three selfies before I ever took theirs. Oh, I, yeah, I do like, the selfies too. Just turn around like, click, click, click. Oh, one, two, three, got it. Here you go, man. I Good. did that oh, with seeing you. He does it with me all the time when, when he's doing it. Yeah. I said, that man's <laughs> face is in all these cameras. And when they finally <laughs> develop it and say, who is that guy? What year is this? Hey, you got to drop that fun saver off somewhere. So. I've, I've only done that one time. A, a girl, we were at Baton Rouge at an LSU game, and we were leaving. I was with Willie, and she's like, Willie. But the voice should tell you where you were, her you mindset were at, was. You were at an LSU game. She said, Willie, I need a picture with you. And I was like, oh, gosh. And she wouldn't. Like, we were trying to get out of there. There was police. I said, here, we'll take one. Willie stands beside her. I took three selfies, handed her phone back. We gone. <laughs> she I feel know. bad about that to this day. She didn't know that night. She might have woke up the next morning and been like, what was this? But I did it. I had to one time. Mm. I'm sorry if you're listening. You're not. You're not. Yeah, she's she's <laughs> no not chat. listening to you. Wrong age class. Mm. Wrong everything, really. <laughs> uh, but hey, maybe Wrong she's everything. maybe she's the girl for Hunter. You never know. Which we have updates on that. I got, I, have you read the emails? No, I have not. But I did get forwarded one today, complete with a pictures, pictures, and, oh Hunter, and description. And she's not that far away. So Hunter, be prepared to answer for yourself when Uh-oh. we get back. From Ooh, I got three break. or four more. Too. Oh. A lot of grandmas interested in Hunter setting setting their granddaughter up, Hunter. Martin. Yo, buddy. You know what I like? What? Not being confused and knowing exactly what you're going to get. So. And when people name their websites, exactly what you're going to get. So like fast growing trees. You know what? Com? I know I'd get a fast growing tree. You oh. would. And then you know what else you'd get? You'd get all the advice you need to know what you can plant in your yard because they have collections curated for different parts of the country. Ain't that? I mean, that's that's tight. Like, that's a fast growing tree dot com. Fast not, growing trees. What I, they sell? Fast growing trees. This is great. <laughs> you want to know why I love fast growing trees? Why? Because I love them because Allison was like, you know what? I want some weird type of fruit. And we looked at the charts. What could work? Banana tree in Louisiana. They said it would work. It's growing fast. Can't wait for some bananas. Fastgrowingtrees.com has thousands of easy to grow plant, shrub, and tree varieties expertly curated for your own unique climate and needs from Meyer lemons to evergreens to shade trees and everything in between. So you'd be interested to know they've got willows. Ooh. You need duck blind brush? You oh, can yeah. plant your own. Grow your willows, trim them, and they keep coming back. Hey, every year. There you go. No more waiting in long lines and hauling heavy plants around with FastGrowingTrees.com. You order online and your plants arrive at your door in just a few days. You don't have a green thumb, no problem. They're Fast Growing Trees plant experts are just a Zoom chat or phone call away. So, like, if you got questions, will this grow here, will it not? If you can't figure it out on the website, you can talk to somebody in real time, and they are available and eager to help you. They can even walk you through an entire garden if you're trying to set it up yourself. Plus, Fast Growing Trees plant experts have specialized degrees and training to help troubleshoot from root to leaf. It's like telehealth for your plants. So, look, our persimmon trees, I love it. I love the fact that they have everything because, like, I'm, I'm a tree nerd. So if you want to get on there and get fruits that you want to eat, that's fine. If you want to replace oaks, maybe you had one die, cut it down. They've got all kinds of oaks. You name it, you can help give back to the earth, give back to our planet. And it's really cool. And it's something I'm looking forward to doing with the boys. And with Fast Growing Trees 30 Day Alive and Thrive Guarantee, you know everything will look great, fresh out of the box. You can join almost 2 million happy Fast Growing Trees customers. Go to fastgrowingtrees.com slash duck. Now, to get 15% off your entire order, 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com slash duck. Hey, we're, we're back. Okay. All right. We're, we're, All right. we're just going to go ahead since we've had a week off and we've got so many emails. We're, the emails were fantastic. Let's jump in because I've got uh, a couple I need to this is I, This is Tyler Hunter. And, welcome to your life. Well, before we get to Hunter, welcome to your life, though. The, like, there wasn't a lot of relationship emails except for girls hitting on Hunter or aunts hitting on Hunter for ooh, their nieces ooh, or whoa, grandmas. Whoa. Hunter, you're in good shape. Let me just tell you that. Turn but the dogs loose. What we just whoa, talked about, whoa. charity. And look, a couple people sent in uh, voice ones and email ones. So charity okay. emails this in. She's from Monroe. Louisiana? Michigan. Oh, Michigan. oh okay. Oh. Hey, guys. So my question is this. How do we approach you when we see you in public? Because I feel like you are 
somewhat of celebrities and you live a life that's in the public and you allow us into your lives, but we're complete strangers to you. So how do we approach you? I thought that was a great oh, question. Who wants to go first? Question. Well, so this I'll was, go first. Hold go on. Ahead. But let me give oh. the backstory real fast. Yeah. So they visited Duck Commander in July. They saw you, Martin, and she didn't say anything because they're like, oh, it's Martin. And then she put on your Facebook wall, hey, we saw you today. And you said, well, dang, you should have come and said something. And she was like, well, I didn't think I could. Yeah. So then she, now she's I asking this question. I meant that. like, I, And I do mean that. Here's, I'm going to give you a quick answer on this, Charity. Just walk up to us and say hello. The extenuating circumstance around that, for me personally, is if we are eating somewhere, if we're out eating with family, fans, friends, whoever, just can you let the meal get finished and then come say, and any of us will sit there and talk and do, take pictures, whatever you want to do. That was the only one that ever got annoying was like, at a restaurant out of town or something like they sit the food down and then here comes somebody like hey man you mind taking a picture I'm like man i'd sure like to eat that while it's hot <laughs> <laughs> um, and then because all it takes in that situation yeah. is like one person then the rest of the restaurant the does the whole thing yeah. and like it so that's the only one to me that was ever like it i mean at the end of the day really who cares like i'm griping about not hot food right but yeah most of the time that was the only one that i was ever like uh, but the rest of them Man, the good Lord gave us a platform. If if you see me in public, come up and say something, please. Like, And if I have time, which most of the time I do. Now, there are circumstances where I may be running from one place to the next. But if I got time, I'm going to stop. We'll talk for two, three, four, five minutes. Take a picture. Do whatever you need to do. And then we'll we'll both go on our way. Like, we're not. We're not. And I think if most people got treated that way, they would they would all do it, too. You know, and. Yeah. But we ain't big no more. So, like, I mean, we're we're C list. <laughs> You're not little now. Well, hey, pipe I, I'll say this. I'll give you the big three. Go ahead. <laughs> Love, laughter, and big hug. Yeah, there we're you just go. Or, we're there just you ordinary go. folks. Slide on in there. Come on in. And heaven forbid, if you ever come up to this office and you see me, you yell my name and stop me because the only thing you keeping me from doing is working. Amen. So, <laughs> <laughs> and he'll and he'll appreciate the break. Absolutely, I do. <laughs> that's funny. Like that's why during the summer I walk over to the store basically every day for a little bit, just it's mess around, same. talk. Uh, like when I, when I know that. We have the biggest influx of people here. I, I for sure do that. Just to say thank you. I mean, you could have stopped anywhere. You stopped here. So it's kind of a my way as the general manager of the company to say thank you for your business. I'm not Larry Potterfield with Midway USA. but And thank you for your business. <laughs> we, we want you to come talk to us because that way we can share Jesus with you. Amen. <laughs> it's a great opportunity. It it's a, a great opportunity. Yeah. No, I love it. Yeah. And like two people recognize me because I ain't Denzel Washington or nothing, but <laughs> but see now you say hey, you ain't far from it. But now they hey. showing up to the honey hole, so you get your time. Yeah, my man yeah. Nick from Iowa was there this morning. He's cool. He had lunch with Miss K. Dude came to town. I feel like I'm gonna get Miss K in trouble. Somehow met somebody. Was like, oh, I'm going to eat lunch with Miss K. And he was like, what? And like, you want to come? He was like, yeah. And I was like, sweet. That's big time. Yeah, he he just got super lucky, but he was a super nice dude. I like me. I just like meeting people from other places. That's what's cool. That's like everybody's got a story, man. Yeah, and, and that's you know, and all the places that we go when we when we meet people, new people. I mean, there's a there's a commonality between us and them, you know, and um, I think it's a really neat thing. And yeah, the only thing, can we keep the hunting picture scrolling to a minimum? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> or the fish pictures man this, you ain't gonna this, believe this, this deer i killed yes yeah, i am yeah no that that <laughs> yeah. i ever tell you i ever tell you a story with michael waddell oh man me and him were doing a meet and greet in south carolina for a deal and this old boy walk up there and he said <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> He said, I'm thinking about joining that real tree pro staff. You know, I've killed 187 deer now in my life. And I kid you not, he must have showed me and Michael 130 of them. Oh, no. Like, in a row. Just one right after the next. And that's a danger. I don't yeah. want to look at your phone. Because yeah. one time somebody showed me their phone and the next picture was not a picture of a deer. Yeah. And I didn't yeah. want to see that. <laughs> so keep your phones to yourself. They don't save that Snapchat pic. But anyway. Oh, gee. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it was. But I, I dipped. I, blah, blah, blah. All right, but, anyway. but Michael, without missing a beat, said 187, huh? Like I said, yeah, buddy. 
He said, man, we just had a meeting, and it got up to 225 this year. <laughs> and he took the wind right out of that boy's oh sails. He God. never realized what that Michael hell? was kidding with him. Oh, and he boy. said, all he said, he dropped his head, and he said, Man, I'm gonna to have to have a good year this year. And he walked out <laughs> the line. Walked out the line. Hey, at I least told he Michael, knows. I said, "You're personally serious. responsible for the next 40 deer that die by this man's hand." Like, because I'm certain he went on a killing spree. <laughs> oh yeah, like, he did. just for me, it's a buffer. You know, I'm the buffer for Sai, and so anybody that's coming up to get their pictures, I'm I'm making sure Sai's okay to do it, and then I can get them out if they got pictures to show. I can go say, yeah. "Excuse me." And it makes it easy because everybody wants to meet Cy. What I won't let Cy do anymore is jump monster trucks and drive fast cars, of course. No, or Paris L. I can't let him do all that. Do anything fun. But I can't yeah. let him get somebody's phone and they're like, hey, can you call my wife and say hi? Because he plays too many tricks. And it backfired and got him one day and he was like, Philip, help me. I was like, no, you deserve this. <laughs> Huh? Keep going? Well, I mean, yeah. You <laughs> ain't get it, like, I'm going to let him tell it. Well, like, that's the equivalent. Never mind. They're always handing me a phone and say, hey, say hello to my, you know, my intended to be. Yeah. You know, they're fixing to get married. Fiance. Fiance. And, and I, it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. So I said, hey, darling, what you got on? <laughs> yep. That's why I said, I stopped doing no, that. No, no. And F Philip kept telling me, he said, you better stop that. You're going to get in trouble. Nah. And I said, oh, I ain't no kid in trouble. Oh, I do that all the time. <laughs> it's answering the phone, say, what are you wearing? No, no. <laughs> Go look. I said, darling, what are you wearing? She said, uh, you mean right now? And I said, yeah. She said, I'm butt naked. And I said, here's here here's the phone. Back. <laughs> Talk to your fiance. He turned three shades of red <laughs> and was getting out. Something in me was hoping he accidentally hit the oh, FaceTime hey, button. No, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, no. After that, I stopped that. I stopped that. I said, okay. I said, okay. The that was something in me was I was hoping that he had accidentally, in the process of handing it back, hit the FaceTime button, and here we are. Well, the the uh, real thing is Cy just finally ran into somebody as bold as he is to just say right, whatever yeah, they yeah, feel yeah. like saying. Well, absolutely. actually, right now, nothing. So, yeah, that's cool. Mm. Hey, celebrate. You know, whatever. Who knows? <laughs> Could him. I don't. I don't add up. Oh, anyways. Oh, man. Well, look, that one ate up almost the whole section. So I, do, I do have a short one. You do? All yeah. Right, go ahead. Because I have a – we got another Because we got to spend basically one on Hunter. Oh, yeah. So That's why I want I don't want to shortchange Hunter. I want to sneak this one in. Um, Not really sneak it in. We have a success story. Go ahead. Kind of. Oh. She, uh -oh. She prefaced, oh. It's a maybe. She prefaced it with kind of. So – Allie from Ohio emailed in talking about a relationship with a guy she really likes, kind of has a past. Parents couldn't get over it. We I talked remember that. about it yeah. to an extent, right? Like we, mm -hmm. we kind of dove into that. Well, this past weekend, she was moving into college, so her dad and her boyfriend were helping. And she said, because you know what doesn't bring two people closer together than dragging up a mini fridge up two flights of stairs? <laughs> That's just a funny joke. Yeah. Um, so then they're about to leave and they got to ride three hours together. So she said, Y'all should listen to this certain episode of the Duck Call Room. And played it for them. Bold strategy. And wow. I love it. Ouch. And so she started getting some. So dad, dad so dad hates us. <laughs> no. No, so boyfriend was mad because we kind of just talked about, you know, his past and he doesn't really like that, which makes kind of sense. Yeah. But now they're going fishing on Thursday after he's done with classes. Um, so they're look at there. They did want advice on catching fish, uh put everything in the water and just see what it bites but that's our advice there but yeah. we got a success look, hey i love a good go. success story that's perfect look all right well let's take another break we'll be back right after this si yes i know why you slept so long today why is that because you had been gone on vacation and you finally got back to your pillow. <laughs> That's it. Or my pillow. <laughs> Size hey. pillow. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we know who the culprit is. Yeah. Now okay. we know because you That's got that. back to your pillow, which is also oh. known as my pillow, if you're talking about it. And that's why you were in bed till two forty five today. What, what a life, life. man! Good he for just you. woke up. What a life! Yeah, you almost missed. You almost slept through my pillow celebrating their twenty year anniversary. And they're having a sale as always because Mike Lindell and the My Pillow employees want to thank each and every one of you by giving you the lowest price in history on their My Pillows. Queen size My Pillows are regularly priced at sixty nine ninety eight, but right now they're only nineteen ninety eight, and for just what? ten dollars more, you can get a king size. That's $50 Whoa. off. 
I've been king sizing stuff since it was 39 cents. So for $10, if it's talking about a pillow that I can use every night, you know I'm going to king size it. Get you one. All you have to do is go to MyPillow.com and click on the radio podcast square to get Mike's amazing offer on the queen size MyPillow for only $19.98 or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code DUCK. MyPillow's patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs to help you get the best sleep ever. In addition to this special anniversary offer on MyPillow's you will also receive deep discounts on all the my pillow products such as bed sheets, pet beds, my slippers and so much more. Take advantage of the biggest sale in my pillow's history. Look, we've all used them. It's the biggest sale in history. It's the biggest sale in history. Look, it's irresponsible not to go on and buy you some my pillow products right now. They're on sale, <laughs> they're great value and they're great. Guys, let me help you. Christmas is coming. Your woman will love the my slippers. Mm -hmm. She's going to like them. Yeah. She's going to love them. Trust me. And you ain't going to get it any cheaper than you're going to get it right now. Do yourself Do a it. favor. Knock that one off the list right now. Get it done in August, September, whenever you're listening to this. So, look, all you have to do is go to MyPillow.com or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code DUCK to take advantage of Mike's special offer on his MyPillow. That's MyPillow.com, promo code DUCK. Or call 800-969-3137. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hunter, you're up, buddy. You're you got up, your buddy. mic ready? Hunter, are you ready to get married? <laughs> Hunter. All right. So, folks, might I just take this moment to personally thank y'all. Yes, you may. For the response. For you. To find somebody for Hunter. He's it. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I can't thank y'all enough for how much y'all have, y'all have helped in this scenario. He's already been helped. Including Sarah from North Texas, who. Sarah from North, is that what one we're going with first? Well, I mean, she emailed in herself with her own pictures and resumes. Yeah, she was like applying for The Bachelor. Yes. She Hunter. even called herself applicant number 2319. Yeah, now that. I, we haven't got that many, Sarah. Sarah, I think you're probably still in the less than 100, but like, I, I like your positivity that there could have been that many. I'll say this, so. you're in the top five. Okay, oh, we're in the five. All right, but I mean, I don't know. Hunter, she said she would move here. You said you were worried about this. What Have you not seen Sarah's application? Let's read it. She works at a hospital as a nursing tech. Oh, okay. that's a good thing. Yeah. She's a, while she's applying for nursing school. Yeah, medical. So she's going to take the next step. Hunter, you ever yeah. wanted to be a stay-at-home dad? Here might be your chance. Yeah. When she's not working, she's working in her church or spending time with family. That's Sundays, a good woman. Sundays, I'm singing on the praise and worship team. Oh, oh. there you go. Girl can sing. Hey. There you go. Then the rest of the week, I'm trying to show Jesus wherever I go. Wow. Si, what do you that's think? great. And she's very easy on the eyes. There we go. Hunter. Oh, I didn't know we were allowed to do that. I didn't know we were allowed to do that. I didn't know either. But <laughs> I did it. <laughs> she sent three pictures of herself. Yes. Uh, she drinks a lot of coffee. She does drink a lot of coffee. Right. Well, she's, she's Now that she took three pictures in one day all drinking the same cup of coffee, we're really not sure. Hunter? Hunter, I, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hunter is I don't know literally what to say. speechless. <laughs> Hunter, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Do you not like this process, Hunter? Be fair. You can tell us if you don't like it. We may shut it down. I doubt not, it. Not that much. Huh? He doesn't like the process. Not that much. <laughs> what, what's your biggest problem with the process of us trying to find you a girlfriend? We're not qualified. I'm a, I'm a little uncomfortable by this. Why? I'm not going to lie. Why? Uh, it just... It feels kind of weird. I'm just letting people get to know you, buddy. I want you to talk That's more. Right. So, you know, we just want to make sure that they know that what, what they're potentially getting into. You're a little shy. Hunter, have you ever Which watched- Which is fine. Have you ever watched The Bachelor and or The Bachelorette? Uh, no, not once. Well, it never works, but it might work for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I don't I don't think it's going to work for and me. And this isn't a whole premise built around some weird show on an island somewhere. Yeah, right? we're not. We're, we're Gilligan already did that. So, you know. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> this is just, this is good God-fearing women who right. want to meet you, Hunter. That's a, that's a website, I think. And by extension, woman. you know, hey, I, I think it's a good plan. I think you've got a solid list of applicants that would be foolish to not even, you know, send a text or... Is that was that too old for you, Hunter? Was that the problem? 28? The, the, oh, I mean, a little bit. How old Still, are you? 23. Hunter. Half right. her age. Most 19, of your friends would have high. Three. Half oh, her okay. age is what? 14 plus 7, 21. It's not weird. No. no so it's not weird. It's half, past the rule. Half your age plus 7. And ladies not and gentlemen, only that, that is a rule. Half your age plus 7 is a rule. Hey, and not only that, there's a song that says it all. 
Uh-oh. Older women make oh. better lovers. Oh, we're going. Oh, no. Okay, we're going with the Bell- <laughs> Bellamy Brothers. Well, hey, I'm just telling you, you I can't like go it. wrong with music, boys. Sarah is regretting <laughs> sending this email in. Hunter is terrified. <laughs> Hey, a little bit. hey, she's in East Texas, but willing to relocate hey. to North Louisiana. Right. And nurses hey. can go anywhere. Let's get her on the show. Okay, speaking of location, though, I have another one. Okay. Do we have one here? Oh. No. Oh. No, okay. it's better. Um, not better, but all right, here's my here's okay, here's this one, Hunter. Janessa from New Brunsfields, Texas. New Braunfels? No, yeah. I don't know how to say it. Isn't that yeah. where Schlitterbahn is? Yes, Schlitterbahn. I can say that, though, because water parks rule. Um, She said I can use her name because she highly doubts uh, this girl that she's bringing up. She has a sweet young lady looking for a man, Hunter. More specifically, a godly man. She's in her mid-20s and is absolutely stunning. But here's the issue. Mm. She lives in kind of Austin, Texas. Yeah. Is that a problem? I mean, Austin's kind of fun. Okay, because she said if Homeboy is willing to drive to freaking Austin to watch a movie, why not go to the distance for a woman? <laughs> oh, she she Which took honestly a, is fair. <laughs> she took a she took a little stab. Uh, 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 that's a fair response. Uh, that's fair. Uh, uh, anyway, uh on the she's road got a big heart. Hunter, I just want you to know our goal here is to not make you uncomfortable. Okay. Yes, it is. It's actually to stretch your uncomfortabilities <laughs> to make you grow as a person. But I don't want to physically make you uncomfortable. Like I, I'm not. I'm not about that life. That's not. <laughs> that's not what I am. It's not who I am. That's not who Cy is, Philip is, John <laughs> David is. We just want what's best for you, and we thought that we have an avenue to potentially <laughs> find you something right. better than what's available in North Louisiana. Uh, this is just so. a new like feeling, you know. Yeah, like yeah. I'm not used to this at you all. You think this one's weird, <laughs> <laughs> Hunter? I'll have you know this isn't the first time me and Martin have done this. Oh, thank you. We have yet to be successful. But no, what are you talking which about? One? Garrett Taylor. Oh yeah, Garrett. Garrett. Used to work here. He was in sales. Yeah. He was always complaining about not having a girlfriend. So we just took a picture of him sitting on the couch, blasted it out on Twitter and Instagram, <laughs> said, hello, ladies. Married with two children now. If you were, yeah, it worked. And not because of a girl that applied, but because a girl that kind of liked him and he kind of liked her. He saw her name and she was like, I better jump on this bandwagon yeah. before one of these girls from Instagram snatches him up. I did forget it, but we did the Bearded Bachelor. The Bearded Bachelor. I forgot all about yeah. that. The Bearded Bachelor is a great success story. And it's one for one with two healthy young children with a guy who very much outkicked his coverage, which we're offering for you. <laughs> and when we say very no offense, much Christy, if you're listening. outkicked his coverage, we mean very much. Out, Christy ain't listening. Yeah. <laughs> outkicked his coverage. Like. Way down the field. Yeah. Just like me, just like I did, just like yeah, John David I mean, I'm, did. I'm proud like to say I did, just like yeah, Philip right. did. We, yeah, but look, we believe in ourselves. That's what we're trying to get you to do, to sell yourself. We're trying to broaden your horizon. There you go. So <laughs> the the girls on the okay. internet. <laughs> go, go, go ahead. Go ahead, well, Hunter. When you say it like that, it seems The weird part about tacky. this is that these girls, like, obviously, they don't know – really what they're getting into because i am probably nothing like they think well here's the deal all. though but here's the deal it, it tells you what's out there that they're willing True. to put themselves in an uncomfortable situation for the champ yeah, to find out but like, like John they know David, exactly you, what they're getting into Hunter, you drove to austin to see barbie there's I did do one that. type of dude that does that Hunter, and it's you <laughs> hey, hey, why Hunter, not? final question are okay. we allowed to invite any of them to this studio uh, Sarah, I'm ready. gonna let you be the judge of this. I'm, I don't want. Let's vote on it. Like, oh, no, this is no, totally this Hunter. is all to Hunter. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, you guys could pre-screen. What about the coffee drinker? I, 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 the East Texas, the New Braunfels. I mean, those are all within very good driving distance. These are well, locals. And for fun, we can have Big Hair record that episode. That way, you don't have That's to. Right. Like, you don't have be, to work. You don't even have to be here. Yeah. yeah. And then you you can edit it. We have no idea what of this is going to air, by the way. Hunter might edit this whole segment. (laughs) And that's fine with me. He can be in disguise. We're just friends. Yeah. You can be incognito. I'm not. I'm not opposed to like the phone call thing, and I'm not opposed to coffee either. I'll throw that out. Can you wear a wig and a fake mustache? Why are we? I think you need to. I think you need to holler at Sarah. She's older than you. That's cool. Like. I'm older than Brittany. The the only thing weird with that is, and I know I've mentioned it to you guys, but my 
<laughs> my mom is 40. So like it's weird having someone like a little bit older than me because they're also like half the age of my mom because my mom's 18 years older than me. Oh no, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, that may seem weird to you, but that's that just an indictment weird. on having children young. I mean, that's not a problem. Yeah. Like that's that's mm. always going to be the case. Well, like, just imagine a, like meeting someone. Hey, look, that's the older like, you, the older you get, that that number's going to get closer. Yeah. <laughs> Don't overthink point. it. Honey. That's a good point. Just saying, that percentage is going to go up. 28. You're <laughs> closer. You're all, you're only five years apart from her. Yeah. 12 years apart from my mom. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool, man. I'm in. I'm in. Well, man. hey, if we did a survey, Hunter. Uh-oh. Survey yeah. says. I like okay, it. Yeah. Okay, if we do a survey, what is your time, your uh, uh, age group? Yeah, what's your age range? What are yeah. you comfortable yeah. with? Like yeah. two, three years older than me. Or like... Let's see, I'm 23, Golly. so okay. like two and, okay. years younger and you're than really, me. You're really constricting us here. Yeah. What about I know. 18 to 28? I'm difficult. 18 to 28, that's a... That's a... 18. I feel like 18 you don't is a bit do nah, yeah. no, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going, I'm not going that's younger. Shallow water. Hey, I'm going on Hunter's side here. All right, what is okay. it? Yo, how old are you, 23. 23? Mm-hmm. Oh, let's go from okay, okay. <laughs> 20 uh, to 26? 20, 20, yeah. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> I got a 20 year old. Yeah. Where's she from? Yeah. Okay. Well, you look, Texas, you Canada, Texas, uh -oh. 20 years old. That's 20, now, that's 21, less than, 22, that's less than 23, three 24, right. 25. But only one of them was brave enough to send three photos of themselves. And she's 28. Photo required. Hey. Third, Sarah, and if it, you hey, and Hunter don't work out, I got a hey, friend named Drew. She's going with the third one is a charm. <laughs> Have you met Drew? It never works, but I keep trying. <laughs> he is not bearded. Drew's not listening. Very to much a bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Potential lifetime. But oh. Yeah, that's wild, man. The survey says. Okay, look, I wanted to include you. I didn't want this to be a straight sting on you. Hold up. So Texarkana. Like, Texarkana's been talking to this lady, and she's interested in... in it's uh, only three hours away. Uh, yeah. I've so driven. I've read some that's, of these emails <laughs> and some of these messages. <laughs> he reads them all before me, I'm pretty sure, don't you? No, I, I've, I've caught I you looked a few at times. a few. <laughs> I've, I've, I figured. Oh, you're just you're just searching <laughs> Hunter in the inbox? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> oh, well, see, I did now so that way I knew what to expect the next time I record. Oh. <laughs> that's not a bad I was going to say, because then that mildly makes you sound narcissistic. And I, don't, no, I, mean, I, wouldn't, no. I wouldn't put that as a personality trait. I was just But to be prepared for what we may say, I totally respect that right. Yeah, because he has to get us back on track sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I totally respect that right, and and think you should exercise it. So we'll uh, talk about this off air. Yeah, let's uh, take another break. We'll be back. During the break. During the break. During the break, I got another one, Hunter. Oh no, it's the right age, twenty three. Will be twenty four. Okay, but she's redheaded and from Oklahoma. So I get to pay, well, uh, he got excited about, right. about the red hair. All right, Emily. Oh, say, say, danger, danger. Hey, alert, alert, alert. <laughs> Hunter, they, don't, they don't have red hair for nothing, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> it was too good. We were supposed but, to move hey, on. Then right I'm on the other side. All right, go for it. I've had a blast. Hey, look, I, I'll I'll agree with that. And speaking of redheads, didn't didn't your redhead have some fun on y'all's vacation? Oh, what are you talking about? Hey, the the woman is very. I didn't realize it. She's an adventurer. Oh yeah. Okay, cause she did all this stuff. What isn't there a video? Where, yeah, where, we do have a video. Hunter, did, you got it. Ladies and gentlemen, Hunter. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Hunter. Whoop, He's wow. amazing. That's Look that. what Hunter can do for us. That's right. Hunter. There's nothing this man cannot do. Just so you know, Hunter. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot, actually. <laughs> Except run the clock, because I have no idea how long we've been going. <laughs> Hunter, Emily from Oklahoma's sister, I do have her phone number. Whoa. Whoa. They're sending okay. out phone numbers now. Because you know what Pictures, they say? Them girls numbers. from Oklahoma roll the... Never mind. No, that's the boys from Oklahoma. That's cross-Canadian ragweed songs. So. I don't know what you were talking about. I so. bet our fans do. Something tells me our fans like cross-Canadian ragweed. You know what I like? I don't, to set I do. this I don't up, even know what that to means. Set this up. Set it up. What's cross-Canadian ragweed? My You're wife probably is, not going to work out with a girl from Oklahoma. Right, my wife is an adventurous. Yep. Okay? Yeah. This zip line she's on, she's on is over a... About a 500 yard uh, gorge, which at the bottom of the gorge is nothing but a little water among a bunch of rocks. Yeah. 
The rocks would hurt, but the yeah. water would hurt, too. Yeah. Oh, no. And I'd it die, and I'd it's die not, of a massive heart attack on the way to I'm excited yeah. to no see it. No chance I'd make it to the bottom of the Hey, when I, I seen her come by at a a very you know, fast speed. Oh, so you got to watch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's tight. I found yeah. it. I didn't yeah. think I was going to find and it. And I went, whoa. Oh, praise All right. B. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on. We got to get full screened yeah. up. <laughs> Who knew the world needed to see Christine in a helmet? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Okay. Christine, what did you think about it? That was really nice. I forgot to tell Sai, though, if I didn't make it back, that I have had the ride of my life. With him on with it him. or this zip line? With him. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it back, darling. Love you. <laughs> You're going to be fine. Look at there, Sai. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> did you put music to it, Philip? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you said she was above a rocky gorge. Right, well, wait, she's a that, foot off yeah. the ground. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's, a, a, a golf that's a different <laughs> one. That's one of nine. Hey, that's one of nine. Okay. There's some huge okay. ones. That was the warm up. <laughs> that was just warm up. Yeah. I mean, that was, in, that was in my buddy Matthew Dobbs' backyard when we were growing up. Yeah. And praise God for the socks with sandals. Man, <laughs> uh, there's just so much I love about this. Vacationing Christine may be my new favorite. Uh, so do we. Also, who edited this? Philip. With the music? I mean, and, I'm not real good at this. And the little fla- watch the little flash right here. <laughs> That's right. The little glow. <laughs> Why does she go off backwards? <laughs> oh, half of them come out there upside down. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what got me was a bunch of kids, okay, that looked like they was might be what, third grade? Yeah. They're yeah. hanging upside down and flying by. It's, it was wild. That's a telephone pole. Is that the gorge? That was high. Yeah, the water. Okay, when okay. you seen the water. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. higher. Yeah. So that's is. a high one. And then we So you decided to use like the the dangerous clip, which was way cooler. Well, for I got a better I got a better and got her zip of line her in a golf going board. off. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I got you. So, and she did oh. nine of them. Yeah. And I mean she's a trooper. She's not scared of anything. No, she ain't scared. <laughs> Meanwhile, Si. <sigh. laughs> No, uh, I was waiting on her to come by, and it was just a flash. Oh, you were there? No, I was down at the, uh, the last one. Oh. Whoa. Sitting there with a glass of tea. All right, sitting there <laughs> with my tea, that's right. Yeah. And an air-conditioned truck. <laughs> you didn't even get out of the truck? I didn't, no. Hey, I told you, I'll, this was my vacation. I rested. I'm telling you, I love it, sir. <laughs> I love it. It is kind of sometimes it does get a little aggravating when everybody's like, let's go on vacation, and then they have a list of stuff for you to do. I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, no, then you got to spend 10 or 15 days when you get back. Recovering. over it. Yeah. But what a trip it was. I will agree with Martin on that. There's nothing worse than going on vacation and somebody handing you an itinerary that doesn't have time to for like bathroom breaks. It's like we're going to wake up here and then we're going to go there and then we're yeah. going to go this and do that. I'm like, welcome yeah. to my world. Yeah, I'm not my in, wife has that list. I don't want to take a pocket full of dude wipes because I'm not going to be back at my room for the rest of the day. <laughs> like I don't want to do that on vacation. Amen and amen. Like you know, like that's just the deal. It just, I don't know. That's wild, but. Good for her, man. Christine living her best life. Oh, hey. So I living his best life, too. How old are you? 75? 75. Yeah, do whatever the crap you want to on vacation. Hey. Don't, you ain't going to catch no slack from me for sitting in a truck drinking tea, watching them zip line. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> I, the only reason well, no, hey, I done done it. Yo, this is for them, for people that do zip line. Hey, put an elevator on it. Yeah, I, yeah. So I that way I would come step. up the elevator, get on it, and take off. Yep. If the zip line would have started at ground level somehow, yeah, yeah. I back yep. off my previous yeah. assessment of you chick. I thought you chickened out from the uh, experience of zip lining. You chickened out from walking up the stairs, oh, which, yeah. amen, brother. I yeah. don't want to do that either. I yeah. would have liked to done the dolphins. Yeah, swimming with them. Yeah. But they swam too fast. So that was no, no. That was actually cool. No, but you got to yeah. swim. Okay, so you don't you don't really get the you know television or wherever you you if you you know it's until you get up on one right close. That's a big fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a mammal. Well, oh, I mean, here yeah, we but, go. Right. Yeah, but they call him a fish. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fish. Yo, right. That's a big one. Hold on. Okay. He's like. Eight foot long. Uh, the, the, one that, the one we swam with was like 11 foot long. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And weighs what? Three, three or 400 pounds? Uh, so yeah, by 500 pounds. Did they push you up out of the water? Like, 
You could hold on to them and they'd take off swimming with you. Did they show you to the signs of danger? Uh, no. Like Flipper used to do? Are you not allowed to call a dolphin a fish? I know it's a mammal, okay? Well, I get it. But well, I mean, they don't you can't want, call it a fish. Right. I, I just feel thing. like it's our job to educate at some level. You never figured a fish would make a wake like a boat? When it's a boat. A boat's coming in real fast. There you go. Like a speedboat. You know, it's got the waves going oh, yeah. out both sides. Well, but they, he's a, they do that. One of them does it. He I mean, starts his end <laughs> and comes by, and he's got water flying everywhere, and you can't even see him moving. Uh, but they're a little torpedo, so oh, I mean, yeah. I, they oh, are the perfect yeah. shape for this. Oh, no. like, oh, yeah. Dolphins they're... are really cool unless you're snapper fishing. Well, and then you cannot reel your snapper in fast enough before he grabs it off your hook. You cannot, <laughs> no, will not. Fast. Yeah, right. you will not beat it. Them him. ones in the Atlanta Aquarium that do all the tricks and stuff. Them things are you sweet. can beat a shark with your fish back to the boat. You can't beat that dolphin. The dolphin smart. Can, can swim like well, 22 yeah. miles an he's hour. Slicker. Yeah, he's a lot slicker no, than no. a shark. You Anything think? Yeah. that swim upside down? Yes. At so the same did you, speed? Did you get in the water with no. him or not? No, I was just very close to him watching. I got you. Yeah, he was yeah, right, was, right beside know. us. We were yeah. in, and he was just right upstairs. It would have been fun having a side like on a raft and letting them do tricks with him. Oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I, that I would have enjoyed yeah. doing. No, that's cool. Because I wanted to be get two of them and get the dorsal <laughs> fin. And oh, then no. tell them to tell them, hey, hey. Tell him to go full speed ahead. <laughs> oh, we yeah. starting to sound no. like Poseidon now. Yeah. You, want be, you want to be one of them Greek mythological oh. heroes. Oh, no, man. I'm telling you, because they, they, you talking about move. It looked like Aquaman. <laughs> and they make it they make it look so effortly. You have to really watch. Or you can't even tell they're doing anything with yeah, the tail. Yeah, they're doing that. Yeah. 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 Dolphins. Because yeah, they sit there at one time, you know, the girl sitting there, and she, she does her hand like this, and he starts just. I mean, he's turning the water. He ain't going nowhere. Just like us. You know, water's going everywhere, but he ain't going nowhere. But he's staying still. Until she says, and then it's, oh, he's gone. Flipper was a good <laughs> show. And then he goes out there halfway, and he's 20 foot in the air. Yeah. Flipper, the saltwater lassie. Oh, yeah. Loved it, man. Yeah. Flipper the dog. That was fun to watch. I'm just glad somebody else watched Flipper besides me. What year was that show? Everybody watched Flipper. Did you? You watched oh, yeah. it too? Yeah, when he used to do it a little. <laughs> <laughs> and you went by. That was in the 60s. I thought that was like an 80s show. <laughs> Goblin can do it on a wood duck call. I bet he can. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. They That's made funny. a funny little sound when they, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, let's take our last break. We'll oh, be back man. right after this. He did order a steak medium plus on our vacation. Oh, my word. Oh, I'm just letting you did know. They, did they know what he was talking about? Yes. They so did. I said, I want my steak medium plus, and they said, yes, sir. And they came back, and it was, I don't know, it was, it was about right. Medium plus described it very well. That's why I don't understand why they had so much trouble with it. <laughs> because you can't say the word well or rare no. in, any, in any capacity. That's why I said, okay, when they say, sir, how would you like your steak? Say medium well. No. You can't use well. You can't use that word. Out, it would be just like, okay, let me eat this stupid <laughs> He's got a knife piece out. of lever. Johnny D, I know no. you weren't here, but for whatever reason, this is now a very heated discussion with no. you. I'm be so careful. You may prepare, stab you. prepare well, yourself. We've talked about it a lot. And, Easy. You know, we had the week off. I didn't watch the episode Willie was on. You know. It was just for a segment, but he came okay. in and got our man from zero to not even 60. We went from zero to 100. So we took the week off, so I sat down this morning to read emails, 400-something of them. I'm like, okay, cool. Medium well plus, medium well plus, size of fool. You're all morons, size hey, right. Here's what it, was, no, it was all over the place. Here's what the shelves need to do, okay? Forget all of this, how do you want your steak? They need to learn what color. They need to learn what color is. Have a color chart. I've seen yeah. those before. So yeah. you you like it when the color changes from red to pink. Pink. And no. stop right there, though. No. Light pink. But and stop that, right there. Take it off. When it the color it. changes from red to pink, stop. Take That's it off. what you're at. Take it off the grill. And you've, you've actually yeah. been doing some cooking like that, haven't you? No, no. Oh, no. Look, my wife, okay, there is a two to a package. They're about three inches thick. And a round filet mignon. He can't hide money. Which is about, uh, <laughs> I would say, just okay. eight ounces. It's an eight ounce steak. Yep. All right. I just, you know, she bought them, and I come in and I looked at it, and I said, you know what? 
I don't want to fool with the grill. So I'm just going to take the iron skillet. And, and make gonna, a hamburger. And I'm going to grill it on top. Yeah, I'm going to cook it on top. <laughs> cook that sucker. But here's the key. Okay, you flip it about what? Let's see. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. You actually turn it over six times. <laughs> two minutes. In the last two minutes when you start it, this is on a, flipping a it medium. Up. This is on a medium gas fire with an iron skillet. It's six times. And medium, here's the deal. <laughs> I'm explaining what medium should he's, be. He's Herp, trying to help you, John Herp, David. Hey. You're going to get hit. Okay. Yeah, he is. You're going to get hit. I hope Here, he does. Here's the thing. The oven, gas, okay, you got it. You can turn it 360. Cast iron. Yeah. But you're cooking on cast iron. I'm cooking cast iron yeah. with about, oh, probably four ounces of butter in, in the pan. So like half a stick. Half stick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I've got my heat on medium, which is half of 360 on a gas stove. But not me. You don't have your heat on medium plus. Your I heat's on medium. On medium plus. And look, and then I flip the steak. Six times. Every two minutes. Every two minutes. And okay. the last time when you flip it to put on the, you know, on the two minutes, mm -hmm. you actually, like I said, I had it halfway now. But you let your skillet get hot before you put it in oh, the yeah. first time, Oh, yeah, right? it's bubbling. Okay, your the butter, butter's, your butter's bubbling. The butter, that way, because <laughs> hey, you want it brown. Yeah, brown butter. You're, you're making brown you're butter. Doing, what you're doing, you're actually searing mm -hmm. the outside of the steak completely. Yep. Yeah, I'm and leaving. on the last one, when you go, you last one's two minutes. Well, when one minute goes by, you turn it off, put a lid on it, and then you give it five minutes of just sitting there. Of just sitting there in the butter in the height, and it's it's still bubbling, so it's still cooking. I, Stone calls it let it breathe. So about seventeen minutes worth of cooking. It's I think it's what six six will be two twelve. And then five minutes, yeah, 17 About minutes. 17, because you said you pull it a minute. And look, and when I get through, it's the bottom one. Oh, no. Oh, that's well, well done. No, no, thank no, no, God, no. No, no, that's too well. That's too, okay. The, the medium is, see, they use well, it should say plus. Because <laughs> you're using well twice. <laughs> ah, that's no right. Work. That's right. Okay. No work. They use the word well twice, and hey. When you say well, it gets it's burnt. All the stuff well. I was tagged in said that medium plus is cooking a steak to an internal temperature Wait. of 140. Okay, here we go. They went for 145. Wrong answer. You're right. No, it said one, they said 140. Oh, I thought it said 145. Oh, no, that did. I'm just no. saying on all the stuff, the people that emailed me defending you, which I really don't have a dog in the yeah. fight. I've just never heard the term. Yeah. And I pull my steak at 130 and let it rest, so it gets up to like 135 or so. So yeah. like so, between medium rare and medium a lot of yeah. times is what yeah. mine is. So Ty. You're riding right in between. Rare medium. and medium. Well, no, I would say medium and medium plus. No, mine doesn't ever get past 135. 135 is medium. Okay. And so, but it, I pull it at 130. At one, but I okay. use a thermometer. I keep okay. the little yeah. the yeah. little thermometers. Okay. In Whoever them. sent yeah. this, and 130, they're gone. No matter what I've done to them, they're they're yeah. out. Yeah. So, Whoever sent like, that chart in is not from around these parts. No, that's they, from Europe. They use metrics and yeah, Celsius I don't know those all kinds of things. Um, we, ain't, we ain't that smart over I here. I take mine off at like mm. 125. 125 Ooh. is fine. Yeah. That's rare. Yeah. That's me. Anyway, rare. Ty from the Great White North. I don't know what that is. Alaska? Canada? Canada. Canada? Is Can You're Canada. Is the Great White North Canada? He's from Canada. Um, he sent an email in, and I think he's going to fix all of our problems by what you just said. Okay. He has to go on record with the way Cy orders his steak is absolutely preposterous, but uh -oh. not for the reason you think. If you order a steak, you just tell them the temperature, not just random words. That way you get it right every time. 140 degrees. So now you just need to go in and say, how do you want steak cook? 140. Well, then, no, no. Then I need to tell them, and I'm going to check this out. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to find out if they know what they're doing. Okay. Because I'm going to tell them, hey, 138 to 140, and then bring it to me. Yep. 
And if it ain't light pink in the middle, I'm gonna get you. I get to you stand there and I'll get to bust your nose. Sai gonna sit there with his own thermometer as soon as I get there. Yeah, Yeah. he's gonna take it it back. (laughs) Ty Ty did say he would guess 145 would be your huckleberry. No, no, that's a little too much. 140. Too much. That's too much. It's got to be 140 and a little, little bit lower. Yeah. 138 to 140. Yeah. That's That's what everybody that said. That's medium rare. No. Nope. No, no, nope. medium rare is like nope. between 30 and 35. I don't have nothing in here that's light pink. Because, <laughs> see, I will solve this when I said, okay, hey. Look on your I socks. I get the steak and I take my knife and fork and cut it right down the middle, if I can't turn it and it's I best about, believe. Let's say, let's say the steak is two inches thick, okay, a half inch of it in the middle needs to be light pink. See, medium well ain't showed correctly there. Okay. That ain't medium well. How can all these charts be different, man? You got to love the internet. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Look at well, rare, this. is rare. Omaha Steaks chart. Rare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. they're garbage. Rare it. is all he <laughs> did. Is, hey, rare is when you hey, you throw a steak in there and regardless. Best thing, what, Omaha Steaks got some you know, twice stuffed regardless baked potatoes. Of how thick it is, <laughs> all you did was you browned the outside, period. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just a little bit of the bear. You run, it by, you run yeah. it by the fire. It should still be a little that, cold hey, in the middle. Three of them are rare. Yeah. I'd like the heat to at least have gotten to the middle. Yeah. It ain't got to stay there, yeah. but it needs three to be. Three of them are, the first, the top three are rare. Nah. All they did was brown a little bit on the outside. The fourth one where it says medium well, that's a bunch of bull. Nothing is medium there. It's got three quarters of it. It's still red. We're really breaking down this chart. I love it. Man. <laughs> they need to learn their color code. Here's all I can tell you, folks. <laughs> Stand by for when we get all of the remodeling done at Duck Commander. And we're on, cooking steaks. And on here. the Duck Commander YouTube, we're going to do cooking a medium plus steak with uh, Uncle Si. And right. he can look hey, at yeah, Dale Jr. and say, you know what? <laughs> I got to I don't know. Say not whatever not. you want to. Right, right. You know like what them. I'd say? You chefs never did graduate. Well, he's a NASCAR driver. <laughs> yeah, he, he but, raises cars. Yeah, well, he used to. Now he just owns them. Oh, well, but good I'm for him. so confused. Well, there we go. Johnny yeah. D, is, is there any such thing as a medium plus Christian? I don't know. You got a verse for us? I got one that got pretty hot. <laughs> oh, three uh, of them, in fact. Uh-oh. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire, and the satraps, perfects, and governors, and royal bars crowded around them. They saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor was a hair of their head singed. Their robes were not scorched. And there was no smell of fire on, on them. them. That story is in Daniel 3. If you don't know the story of De- Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were supposed to bow down to somebody that was not God. They said no. They got thrown in a fire. Then They were fine. There was a fourth man in the fire. And I'm here to tell you, whatever fire you're going through in your life, yeah. you might think you're in a fire, but Jesus is in the fire there with you, ready to help you get you're out not alone. So that's all I got with medium steaks and fire. That's Good verse. I love just, it. Good job. We'll well, I really winged that one. We'll see y'all next time right here. <laughs> that was in the good. Room. We're out. I love it. <laughs>